What is going on bros and broettes? I have a little different style video for you and it has to do with, there's this new technique. It's been super popular and absolutely killing it on the, the Bassmaster Opens. I actually got it, got into the Elite Series. Um, it's been hitting Toyota Series. It's just, it's a cool deal and it, it's jig fishing. So I really wanted to try it. So I'm gonna take out on like, we got a little different style of video. Um, I'm gonna take fishing with me and kind of walk you through my entire day decisions and um, exactly what went down and how to do this technique. So hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get this thing rolling. So I went out fishing in Tennessee and uh, missed one right off the bat, as you can see. So basically what ended up happening is, you know, we got classic fall. You can kind of see the atmosphere behind. I reeled up really fast. I got a little half ounce ball head jig, actually this guy right here. And when I reeled up, I saw fish chasing it. So I dropped it straight back down. You can see me kind of opening the bale and doing that right there. And basically, this new technique is basically sight fishing these fish using a jig, like a, a classic half ounce jig. So I'm sitting there shaking it in place and shaking it, and this fish is right on top of it using my active target, forward facing, um, seeing there and boom, smoked it. Like, and, and a good one. For this, like, it's like three and a half pounds, and three and three quarter, about. Um, That's how you vertical jig absolutely a jig right there, jig. boys. Dog with this two and a half, three pounder. <laughs> on my favorite jig but guess what we we're doing with it we weren't dragging it we we're fishing it uh that vertical boys kind of a cool deal kind of sneaky so it's kind of a sneaky technique it's this half ounce ball head and we're going to talk about it a little more in just a second but basically i shifted around it's fall one of my favorite things to fish during fall is a little kai tech this is a 3.3 inch kai tech uh three eight ounce ball head just very classic and, and basically rolled up on a point. I really fished off of forward facing a whole bunch today, uh, but I would use forward facing in sort of congruence with structure. So we rolled up on this point, I saw a couple of fish, made that long cast using kind of a pulsated retrieve with that high tech, and lo and behold, knocked off like a, like a two and a half pound spot, pretty decent spot, dude, and absolutely smoked it. One thing I'll tell you about this Ooh, day geez, too, what you is that it's lip, super bro. sporadic. Poor like thing. it was tough. We get one or two here, one or two here until like towards the end of the day, but it was a grind. So I started just kind of hunting fish on my forward facing. So I saw this fish, cast it out, my little half ounce ball head, and boom, dude. So I'm playing with this technique where basically you're sight fishing with a jig. You're, you're dropping it down like you would a Tamiki rig, like you would a, a drop shot That's rig, small, using that dude. forward facing and actually pitching it out and then shaking it on the bottom. That's a good and it's small absolutely too. killer. We're gonna do a little more in-depth video <laughs> on it. Caught a few times. How about it, boys? That was a little two pound small mouth on the old drop jig. This is kind of a cool technique, man. It's it crazy how much they'll actually react to it. You think it might be a little up and deal. like overbearing, a little too much. But, dude, I, I basically have a half ounce finesse jig with a little, that's Jacob's boxer crawl right there. And it, just super kind of tiny, compact, casting it out to him and then shaking it on the bottom. It absolutely kills it, dude. I was blown away. So, like I said, it, it would have been kind of a grind. We're running around. I picked up that Kai Tech again because I got a lot of confidence in it. Just reeling it around some of that timber, some of that wood. Um, there's bait balls all around. This is a little bit shallower. We push back in a creek a little further. We had been fishing down to like 20, 25 foot up until now. Oh, this was maybe like 8 to 10. So I really wanted to kind of oh, make sure I wasn't missing anything, you know, cover all my bases, get a little shallower, and we got a bite. And all of a sudden I started thinking, huh, hey, maybe this is going to work. And then it didn't. We can get another bite for like two hours. So I shifted out and uh, started dropping down. I've talked to you guys about this. This is the Gambler FFS jig head at Tamiki. Like, basically, just watch this. Wait a second, watch, this is badass, dude. I've never had a fish come this close to the Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That one would've helped the cause. Cause it was a grind. That was like a four pounder, dude. Basically, we were dropping down this Gambler FFS, um, this 3 8 ounce head. This is the FFS minnow. It's just a little, like, 2 half, three 3-inch yeah. minnow. And I was kind of pitching it out and pendling it down. And all of a sudden, this pattern kind of started to give away. And just shaking it a little, shaking it, pendling it down almost you like you would, like a Kitek. Um, 8-pound test uh, to 12-pound braid. And what I actually ended up finding is they stopped kind of reacting to it. So I picked up this guy. And if you guys want to have some fun, try fishing this thing this is a little rapala ice jig so I, i'll explain a little more in a second but i started catching some on this 
So basically, what I started seeing, and this is one hundred percent forward facing stuff, oh, is you, you'd like drop it down there, and and you'd have to sit there and, and sort of activate them. Oh. So they get below it, and you freaking sit there, and gradually they kind of like rise up to it and group up. I could see the fish down there, and you sort of trigger them. It would take like. Okay. Three minutes, two minutes to get ourselves a goog in there too. Kind of like slow slide by, like yeah. catch one. But these fish, I would see one down on my forward facing. I'd pitch this this little ice jig out, this little rapala ice jig. I'd pop it up a couple times. They wouldn't react to it. And then all of a sudden, after I would do it like six, seven, ten, twenty times, they'd hit it. So we shifted spots again because those fish kind of shut off. And this is when we caught our big dude. This is once again the, the FFS jig head, just kind of sight fishing them, almost board. like you would a Kai Tech, but with more of a Jamiki style rig. And this one Out. smoked it. I saw so many fish out there swimming around in these giant bait balls just roaming around <laughs> and I could not get them to bite but finally How about it was it absolutely kind of a cool like when you pitch it out and you see them kind of chasing it and shake sure it a couple times and the whole wild loads up it, it's a rush dude so then towards the end of the day these fish kind of gradually got more and more active throughout the day I found like this pod of fish that was basically schooling about five to ten feet underwater and I got out, this is one of my favorite things to throw this time of year, this little Kitek. It's a 3-3 Kitek. That's a Scottsboro Hellfire um, ball head. I'll put mm. links to all the baits that we talked about down in the description box too, so you can check them out at Tech Warehouse or Monster Bass and that. Um, but what I do with this thing is I sort of hair jig it. So basically I'll make that cast out there where I'm on aiming at. And then I'll kind of slow roll it a couple times and yeah, then kill it. Georgia. And then slow, then kind of speed it up kind of yeah. really fast and then kill it. And usually they'll either bite like it's right as you kill mouth, it dude. or right after it's you like, reeled small it small really mouth, fast. I actually caught some smallmouth too. I thought it was. That was one of the fun things about like all these techniques right between there. the, the jig, cool. which really surprised me. Um, the the, the, the Dimitri nice. with the FFS head and then our Kitech. Um, I never caught any smallmouth on this guy, but every other bait, I believe I caught smallmouth spots and largemouth on it. So it's a great mixed fish kind of approach, lure-wise. Oh, but this God. thing really blew my mind, dude. Um, how much they reacted to this jig, like big old bulky jig. And granted, it was bigger fish, but really like sight fishing them and casting them out dire like directly to those marks that you see on your forward facing. Um, and, and really fishing it in place. Basically bed fishing. Bed fishing without even seeing a fish, only seeing it on your forward facing. It's a cool technique. We're gonna do a more in-depth video on it because there's certain things that you do to the jig to make it show up better and also to get the right action out of it so these fish will actually react to it because it is a big bulky bait and ain't like dropping my little Kamiki style, you know, FFS down there. Um, but it, it gets bit and it, you can use heavier tackle. You don't get to use, you know, your eight pounder uh, like fluorocarbon to your twelve pound braid on a very one. <laughs> you can use a bait casting setup, which is pretty stout. But at the end of the day, it was a lot of fun. You can see kind of on my forward facing how many big old dots were swimming around down there. They smoked this, and then at the end, I picked up um, it's a Scottsboro underspin, and ended up catching like a three, three and a quarter pound spot, just a big old chunk spot. Dude doing that same retrieve, just wanted a different presentation with that little underspin, where you kind of go fast, go slow, go fast, big old chunk spot, dude. And look how she scarfed it up, absolutely it smoked it. Bog kind of had a medium fun day today. Like he, he got to lick some fish, but it was definitely sporadic. Um, but that's what's kind of cool with forward facing in that, is you can actually, I like to call it hunting fish. Uh, you can go out and you can hunt fish. You kind of fish around structure, but you actually just go out looking for them. And it's a very pursuit-oriented process, and I kind of dig it, dude. It's You'll end up, it's like, start on a point, you'll end up, like, 100 yards offshore, or you'll end up, like, right up against the bank because you see them in two feet of water. But it was pretty cool. We're going to talk a little more about this jig technique. Um, I was using a, just a little boss ball head, half ounce. It's a custom skirt that I do. Um, and then Jacob's kind of boxer craw and magic craw, and I cut it down, so it's kind of like a chunk. We'll get more in depth to that. The other bait was, this is a Hammond's herring um, on the little FFS head. Absolutely killer if you like the minky rigging, dude. And then we have the, the Rapala ice jig. This thing really dances. It's almost like a jerk bait vertically because it dances back and forth. And then the classic for fall going into early winter, you can't beat a Kitek on a 3 8 ounce ball head. But hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys don't do it for me, do it for Boxster who's hanging out with me right now. We will see you back out on the water talking fishing. And let me know, did you guys enjoy this video format? Tight line, Thomas.